What's up guys, it's your girl Ray here and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, welcome to the lovely family. Hi guys, good morning guys. What's up guys, it's your girl Ray here and welcome back to my channel. If you're wondering what's happening with my hair right now, I actually have a deep conditioner on it. I have somewhere to be in like two hours, so I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup for it. And I'm just going to show y'all what I'm going to do. But anywho, I just took a face mask off like 20 minutes ago, so everything is now settled into my skin. I'm going to start off with my eyebrows like I always do. And even though I own an eyebrow pencil, I actually own a few. I tend to not actually draw my eyebrows. I just use the spoolies that are on them for, um, yeah, for this case. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. This is actually a new, con a new concealer. I just bought it yesterday. Because at first I had almond, and we all know almond was too bright for me. So I went to the beauty supply and I got the color Fawn. So for my eyelids, I'm going to take my NYX concealer pot, and this is the color medium. I'm mainly using this concealer because it is extremely light, and the colors I'm using, um, I need them to, you know, pop. I need them to show up and show out because they are brown, and I don't necessarily want it to blend in too well with my skin. So I'm just going to take this on a Real Technique, a Real Techniques um, blending brush and just lightly tap that onto my eyelid. Next I'm going to take my Morphe 3502 palette. I feel like y'all can tell that this is my favorite palette because I always use it. I use it in every video. So yeah, I'm going to take my Morphe 3502 palette and on a blending brush, I'm going to take this brown shade here, this dark brown here, which is on the last row and it is the third from the right. And I'm going to pack that onto my lid. For my transition shade, I'm gonna take <clears throat> I'm gonna take this brown right on top of it. So on the fourth row and third from the right, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna blend that all over the edges of this first brown. Lastly, on an even fluffier blending brush, actually I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to go to this orangish brown shade on top of the second shade I used, which is on the third row or the middle row and third from the right. And I'm going to blend that ever so lightly on the very top of all of this. Okay, so now I'm going to take this moment to put on my eyelashes and then I will be right back. Y'all, I just had like the world's hardest time trying to put on my lashes. I can't even tell y'all how long that took anymore because it just took forever. 
But anyway, moving on. I'm going to prime my skin with this Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And I'm only going to place it on my T-zone areas. Because that is my most problematic area. So just here. Now I'm going to go in with my foundation. This is my Becca foundation in the color, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's mahogany. I'm not sure if mahogany comes in, you know, if Becca has mahogany. Now that I have my foundation on, I'm going to go into my concealer and I'm going to be using my, my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and this is the color Caramel. And I'm going to start off with this and then I'm going to apply my LA Girl Pro Concealer on top of it. And now I'm going to set that using my Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Banana Powder. Hmm. Should not have done that. Instead, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier setting powder in the color medium deep and see if I can fix this catastrophe. Barely, but... So now to contour, I'm using my Sephora Make No Mistake High Coverage Concealer in the darkest shade. I actually don't know the name of this shade. I just know that it is the darkest one. I'm not going to bronze my face, however. I'm just going to bronze the sides of my nose. Now I'm going to take my Laura Mercier powder again and this time I'm going to set the rest of my face. And because I wear glasses, I have to make sure that I set my inner corners really well also. And then on a pencil brush in that same Morphe palette, on the third row on the right corner, I'm going to take this dark gold shimmer. It's kind of a brownish goldish, and I'm going to put that on my inner corner. And now I'm just going to apply some blush from an unknown palette, but y'all know what I usually do. I mix the two blushes in the palette and then I put them on. Alright guys, so with all of that done, I'm going to go ahead and set my face with my MAC Fix Plus 
setting spray once I unlock it. And before that dries down completely, I'm going to go in with my Sephora Illuminizing Palette and I'm going to take this to match my inner corner highlight with the deepness of the gold, I'm going to go in with the darkest gold in that palette and highlight my face. Lip balm. Alright guys, so there you have it. This is the finished look. Let me know how you feel in the comment section below about this look. Let me know if you decide to recreate it. Also, let me know what other videos you would like to see from me in the future. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.